What's going on guys? I'd like to uh, introduce my project that I've been working on for a few months. It's really not much of a game yet, but it's kind of looking cool enough that I, I can't stand it anymore. I have to make a video uh, showing off. Um, it's, it's a very early code demo of... Uh, it's a multiplayer spaceship battle arena combat simulator thing. Uh, the idea is um, design your own ship and battle against your friends over IP connection and uh, kind of see whose ship is more powerful, I guess. Really, uh, you just shoot at each other is all you can do right now, but um, I'd like to demonstrate kind of some of the mechanics and give an idea of what I'm going to design it to be. Let me make a profile. I've already got one. Okay. Um, and I'm hosting a server already on my other computer. Okay, there we go. Um, Okay, so, the basic principles. Um, play is kind of like a standard top-down space shooter. Maybe you've played one before. The um, uh, main difference is that uh, the ships don't have hit points like they always seem to have in these games. Uh, you always, it, I, don't, I don't like the idea of hit points. I think it's, I think it's kind of a... I mean, it's, it's good if your mechanics aren't complicated enough to really simulate what's going on, but my goal, of course, with this game was to simulate what was actually happening inside the ships while you're battling. Um, so, the, the, the ships, the damage that they receive is not to their hit points. The damage is actually received to the pixels of their ships. So, if I, if I go on my other computer here and I shoot myself a bit, you'll see it's the pixels that are taking damage. I don't have a hit point bar that's going down, but as I take damage, um, the pixels themselves are being are being removed, and um, some of them, my shields are actually regenerating. Um, but uh, even the shields, it's, it's, it's all pixel. Each individual pixel is kind of like a portion of your ship. Um, and the functionality of those pixels is actually really deep. So let me give you an, uh, go to the inside of your ship now to give you an idea of what's going on inside the ship. So. I've, yeah, first thing I'll show you is actually not the damage, it's, it's to point out the horrible coder art. Uh, I'm making all the art for this game myself, and uh, I'm a lot better at coding than I am at art, and so when you see the big white splotches, those are just modules that I literally have no art for yet, and then some of them are like half-finished art that I just slapped together for the sake of making a video. Um, the point being that um, proof of concept, you can move around inside your ship, you have a character, um, the character can't really do very much right now. Eventually, you're going to be able to ha control multiple crew members and um, uh, order them to repair things, to man consoles, to uh, basically live their whole life inside the ship and um, crew the ship to uh, make it function. Um, now, the, the way the ship functions is actually um, based on these modules. So these modules are not just static artwork, they, they all have their own functions. So you have, you have injectors here that provide fuel to the reactor core. And then the reactor core, it generates plasma energy that flows through these conduits into capacitors um, where it can be stored. Uh, it also generates a lot of heat, and these are just placeholder art for um, what will eventually be heat radiators. Uh, heat is going to be a big aspect of the game, uh, something that you have to manage. And I guess, caveat, one of my big goals is for there to be actually a lot to micromanage, um, because uh, ideally, if I can pull it off, and I already have some of the code put together, it's not done yet, but the idea is to, to actually make the inside of your ship multiplayer too. So that in addition to fighting between ships, your friends can join um, a game either with their own ship and shoot at you, or they can join your ship and be one of the crew on your ship, and you guys can work together um, fulfilling individually the different roles of the ship. Um, and so part of the reason that, I make, that I've decided to make um, it very complex to manage your ship is, is because I want people to have to work compet like not competitively against each other, but also cooperatively as a team to make the, uh, the ship really function to its top performance. So. Um, so the other thing, that, the other modules that you're seeing here, you're seeing uh, thrusters. Um, there's a shield generator. Uh, these white—that's an engine. These white blotches are turret 
mounts, um, which you see is, is where the turrets are mounted on the outside of the ship. Um, and everything functions basically only if it actually gets energy. So, um, so I, can, I can fire my guns and do damage, um, but I, I'm only able to fire my guns because they're receiving energy, and the rate that they fire at is based on you know, how, how long it takes them to get the energy. You see, they're slowly filling up as I'm firing, and, and, um, and then eventually if I fire them enough, my capacitors will completely drain, and then, oh, now, see, now I'm out of energy in the capacitors, and so I'm not firing quite as fast. I'm only firing one gun. Um, and, you know, maneuvering also takes energy. Okay, now I'm maneuvering slightly slower because I don't have as much energy in it as I would like going to the thrusters. Um, but there's also the procedural damage system. So if I'm, if I'm wasting my energy here shooting and then I get shot, um, my shields, they'll regenerate at full speed for a while because they've got, um, they've got energy in the capacitor that's that's, that's here, right? So this capacitor feeds energy into the shield. So, okay, they, they regenerate pretty fast. Once the capacitor is empty, they regenerate slower. And, um, indeed, if I go over here on my other computer and I shoot out, I completely shoot out the shield generator, um, okay, oh, there it goes. If, I, if it takes enough damage, eventually, okay, that shield generator is pretty much gone um, at this point. And I think if I look yeah, so I'm not generating shields anymore. It's pretty much whatever shields I have left is, uh, is all I have. Um, so, go back outside. I can still maneuver. Um, I think I lost a thruster, maybe. So, maybe I'm a little less maneuverable. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling less maneuverable here. Um, but, then, you know, so all the modules kind of work like this. And you can completely make your ship useless by taking enough damage. Um, if I fly over here, uh, I think I'd like to demonstrate um, one of the guns, for instance. Uh, if I catch up to myself, maybe position myself just right, in my other ship, um, I think I could ought to be able to shoot out the conduit leading to that first... Yeah, there. I've, I should have pretty much cut off the power um, to that first turret. So you notice there's... No, the, the power actually uses a sort of a fluid calculation, so those pipes still have power in them. And, um, and I, indeed, I can, I can still fire both guns, because there's power there. But every shot I take is going to use up that power. Um, and eventually, if I keep shooting at my, uh, myself here... Okay, there. So now I've, I've run out of power in, in that whole system. So that gun, no more power. Only firing from the second one. Of course, that also means that the power is no longer split between the two. And um, barring uh, the uh, the transfer rate, the the efficiency of the system getting energy to that second gun, I can for the most part you still use almost all of my energy firing the second gun. Um, but um, you know these ships are immortal in the sense that there's no real victory condition built into the game. Um, but at the same time. It, like, I, I can make myself extremely useless by doing this. I, I, think I've, I think I've now taken out... Yeah, okay, so cool. I took out both maneuvering thrusters. Now I can't turn it off. Uh, I can kind of stop my ship, and I can accelerate forward, but I'm not going to do any maneuvering. So now I'm pretty much a pointless, immobile turret thing jig here, and I'm sure if I shot myself enough... Um, well, here. I'll just straight up see if I can take out that generator core completely. And once that generator core is completely gone, I'm not going to have any power in my ship and I'm going to be dead in the water. Um, and that's pretty much the design goal, right? Is to, is to make the design of your ship really matter because the layout um, and the, the layout of the modules, the, um, the types of modules, the way the modules are connected really does determine the uh, way your ship works. Um, <laughs> and, and you see kind of the bleed through of the inside of your ship from the outside, and kind of a cool damage effect. Um, yeah, I know I've pretty much almost emptied all of this. So a couple more shots and I'll be completely useless. Um, uh, a couple other cool things um, I've done. Let's see, the, uh, the amount of a turning ability that you get from thrusters uh, 
is based on uh, the mass of your ship and um, its center of gravity. So if you put your thrusters uh, really, really far out, you see I've kind of got them on booms sticking out of the side of the ships. That's because getting them further away from the center of mass actually gives them more torque. Um, but a bigger, heavier ship will then slow down that rate as well. So, you know, big, big, big ships without very many maneuvering thrusters will be unmaneuverable. Uh, big, same, in the same venue, big ships without very many engines or with really weak engines will be very slow. Uh, big ships without very much power may have lots of guns, but they might not be able to fire the guns very much. So, you know, like I said, it's, everything is about the design of your ship. That's my goal. Um, uh, I really, I hope... Uh, um, eventually to get it working to the point that um, that I can kind of give a free version out to the public to let people play around with making their own ships and uh, shooting each other a whole bunch. Um, but it's not quite there yet. A pretty much full demo of what I've been working on. I uh, hope you found it as interesting as I do. It, it represents really a, a creation of something that I feel like I've wanted to play for a very, very long time. Um, and I hope I can make it into something that everyone is, is interested in playing. I'm, uh, I'm more than interested in taking suggestions and comments, so I'll uh, see you in the subreddit.